I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. I got me some uh, Thai food on the way. I just now caught this article, but this has been now for like a couple of days. Maybe the way they started was for a couple of weeks. But I'm going to give it a moment of silence. So y'all have read that snippet by now, right? As my disclaimer start to finally appear. Hopefully sugar doesn't disturb me, but that Thai food on the way, so I need to make this snappy, but get to it. Now, as that comes up, the article will pop up any moment. See, the thing about it is, if I've been shooting off this warning shot many, many times, and I've warned everybody, particularly my own people, FBAs, many, many times, before I get into this rant, I really got this from Erica Williams Classy Climb and again she don't know my channel that well but I'm going to hammer down on this far as my 2030 predictions. She said something about these service jobs and restaurant and quick fast food jobs that was profound. Things are about to get a lot harder. You see the thing about this is about this article is that they did the test on Taco Bells in California. And what makes California significant? They just passed a $20 an hour uh, minimum wage. See, anytime these people give you whatever they want, they already have a replacement for you at the back end or have a punishment for you, even if all subversively in a back way. Because you think, yay, I'm getting this $20 an hour, la, la, la. What's the difference between you and an AI voice speaking on your behalf? Because of this thing called Yum Brands, they've also tested it on five KFCs in Australia. So what this tells me is globally, a whole lot of people are going to be suffering, not just our people come 2030. This ideal that you no longer have to have a certificate or didn't go to college for a traditional job like medicine, law, or STEM, or that you don't have anything in IT, it's one of those three things you're about to be left behind. And maybe the exception to that rule is probably like Mr. Burns, someone who creates content and knows the stock markets, though he's not giving you uh Financial and funding advice, so let me put that out there because I never said he was giving you any financial or funding advice. So don't twist my words. They're going to conclude this by the end of the year and they started in California where if you read the news by coincidence, lots of fast food places are either shutting down and see, I knew something was up when there was silence from other brands like this one, Taco Bell, for example, when they were quiet. See, they're not going to give up that expensive property. What they're going to do is give you up. See, that robotic voice who will, who will let the human order won't take a day off. The technician who will come in and fix it is going to make the money. Because that's all you're going to need is uh, technicians to come in to make up for losses more than people. People just getting up and quitting. People bringing fights to work. See, AI won't do that. This is the antithesis of what I told you about the 2030 predictions. They've done it in this many places and whoever this young brands are, trust and believe they're not the only AI company pulling this off. This is an evolution to something that's going to be ugly for a lot of people. You see your grocery bills going up, you're complaining. And then on my other channel, the evergreen wave I'm going to touch on, I think is this week or next week, what's called high tech begging or to come up in 
by the end of the month where people are now getting on YouTube blaming strangers because their car is going to get repossessed because you didn't donate to their PayPal, to their WhatsApp, to their Cash App, to their Zelle. We don't know you like that. See, there there are levels to this, right? There's Coursera, there's Udemy. There are there are ways for you to learn how to build your skills. And what they are telling you because they've tried having all of these trials of fast food restaurants. Having AI drive throughs they are already telling you to get yourself prepared for one of the three things I've told you. Look, the college thing, I get it. That's a lot of debt. This is why I said, unless you want to be a traditional something that's going to guarantee a paycheck, a doctor, a nurse, STEM field, science field, anything environmental, okay, or lawyers. If you're not going to go traditional, be an electrician, a plumber, a carpenter, that's the second, okay. Or the third, get up on these good times in tech. Despite what they tell you about people being fired in tech jobs, you still need to have that certification and keep that certification up. Life ain't going to hand you these several odd jobs from different companies on a silver platter anymore. You're now going to have to prove that you deserve to be there. When they publish these articles, they are already telling you what the deal is. And the fact that this thing started in California where lots of people are losing their jobs because of that $20 an hour minimum wage tells you that this was going to always be the response. Lots of us knew about this and could see it coming from a mile away years ago in, in private and public conversations. See, I address this to mostly FBAs, but it applies to any person in the world, really, who's on the computer right now. Anytime you take on these corporate uh, conglomerates and they give you your way, it's what they're not telling you that you have to be concerned about. And don't pretend like coming on my video and giving me an attitude is going to change things. All you have to do is type in 2030 predictions African American and you see the writing on the wall. It's not going to end for all of us. It's not going to end for all poor people, but a good chunk of people are becoming poor in this country. And the ways in which you once made money are no longer working for you. By all accounts, I read this article in NBC and this was successful and it's success. If you haven't started building skills and making plans should scare you.